all just gonna do construction just as I press record? I mean, like just the minute I hit record, you all gonna do with construction? So I recently moved into my new apartment here in DC. And to be honest with you guys, it's all that I could ask for. But now the fun part begins. The fun part entails decorating. I gotta go shopping, guys. I gotta go shopping for my new place. Um, if I'm being honest, my old apartment, which was way more spacious, had bigger furniture and some of it was starting to look really outdated. So I really wanted to freshen up. It's a new year. We're almost in spring. And so I'm going to go shopping for my new spot. So if you're interested in following me along with this journey, continue watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rogan and this is This Bohemian Gal, your ultimate guide to the Bahamas and Washington, D.C. What's poppin', y'all? First of all, before we get started, let me let you know some construction is going on um, in the surrounding area, so you might hear some of that in my video. I can't do anything about it. I've been stalling and waiting for them to like hurry up. It ain't gonna stop, so let's get it started. So the first thing I have to say is that I spent several weeks scouring for like the perfect products or items or furniture, um, the essentials from my from my place. I'm I'm a big time lover of YouTube, and I like to watch other videos of people's um, apartments. Like that's one of my favorite things to watch. Um, but one of the things I've noticed in watching YouTube is that everybody's place starts to look the same. Everybody is shopping at the same place, and I understand that because it's more economical. It's just convenient um, and these places have wonderful items, you know, at a great price points. So I certainly understand why they're shopping at the same spots, but I don't like that feeling of, uh, I don't know how to describe it, like a place that is just too perfectly curated or just so boring looking. I don't know how to describe it. I just, I, I think you guys know what I mean. I don't, I also don't have millions of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars to outfit my place. And even if I did, I wouldn't because this is not a home. It's when I say it's not a home, it's an apartment. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to put too much effort into an apartment. Um, when I have my home over here, that's a different story, you know, because at the end of the day, that's mine. So I don't want to spend too, too much money. So that was like one of the guiding forces for me was making sure that the budget was right when I was setting out on my journey to find items from my place and um, also finding things that spoke to me. And I know that sounds so corny, oh, I find things that speak to me, but really things that, that feel like me. You know, I don't care if it's, if it's a dinosaur, uh, uh, a dinosaur jewelry case, you know what I mean? Whatever it is that, that speaks to my personality, that's what I want. Because I'm not curating my home for YouTube, I'm curating my home for me. So that was really important. So with that being said, let me show you the places that I went to. So. One of my first and repeated stops was HomeSense. Um, this is HomeSense in Franconia, Virginia. I love shopping in Virginia, guys. Like I almost moved to Virginia. Um, but I love this HomeSense store because it is absolutely divine. Everything about it is just so well lit and they have a great variety of furniture. Um, and I started from like before the Christmas just looking at different things. Um, I ultimately settled on um, a sofa that I saw there. And this is after going to like Ashley Furniture and so many different furniture stores and looking. And it's just, I found that a lot of the furnitures that they had, furnitures, Jesus, did I say furnitures? A lot of the furniture that they have um, was just overpriced. Um, some of them were really nice, but they were overpriced and they really weren't speaking to me. So I saw, for example, at Ashley Furniture, I saw some colored, uh, sofas that I was really, really interested in. And I was like, yeah, you know, I'm a colorful person, so this will make the space pop. But um, when I was talking to one of my good friends, he was like, you know, Ro, if you, if you tie yourself into that color, then, you know, your whole scheme is gonna have to be around that. But if you keep it more on the neutral side, then, you know, you, could, you, you have more options. And I thought that was a great point because while there, I was looking at like one of their reddish, orangish, um, sofas, I saw like a green sofa, I saw so many different colored sofas that I wanted and they were comfortable but I didn't like the feel of it. I didn't like that that suede feel. I'm not a big fan of suede furniture. Um, I had it in my old place, I'm not gonna lie, but it, I, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, so I ended up to HomeSense and I saw this wonderful sofa. I mean I was just walking around probably about to leave because I really wanted to look for mirrors. 
but I found this sofa and I thought it was just so beautiful, so comfortable and so chic and elegant to me and it was neutral enough that I felt like I could pop it with different colored pillows and um, just really, really lighten up the space because what I love about this place is that it has this huge window uh, this huge door balcony door and window that just the light just beams through I'm actually sitting in the front of it right now and I've always wanted a space like that so I didn't want any furniture that was gonna darken up the space so that was really important so HomeSense is really good for that I actually ended up buying a lot of essential items from HomeSense like my um, my curtains uh, uh, my, cur my shower curtains which is beautiful and you'll see this in next month's tour because I'm really gonna show everything my house is not even complete so you guys can see the back but it's not even finished nowhere near finished um, and I bought a lot of like you know laundry stuff um, signs mirrors just different things to really accentuate the house and of course, I also went over to their sister store, Home Goods, which I, I love Home Goods. Like when I first moved here, I used to kill Home Goods, still do. It's like my default place to go because the prices are so good. And um, they have a good variety of, of things. They don't have as much furniture as Home Sense, but um, for Home Goods, they're that's why it's called Home Goods. It's just really perfect. So I got a lot of essentials for my kitchen, um, you know, my my basic cutlery set you know my, my my knife block set like just a lot of things that i needed for the kitchen i got from home goods um when it came time to get the furniture um i wanted to get a different type of um dresser chest of drawers so i ended up going to ikea i love putting furniture together so i, I it didn't scare me to go to ikea and again ikea is one of those you know wonderful places for you know i don't want to say bargain basement <laughs> prices but the prices are really really good and I, I that's one store I could stay in like for hours and hours and hours and so um, I ended up looking at a lot of chest of drawers but again I wanted something that was either unfinished wood because I love that Scandinavian style um, as well or I wanted white because again I wanted to keep the area clean um, looking so I ended up going to Ikea and I got um, a chair a computer desk chair and I got several other items. And again, you'll see that in next month's video. Um, but one of the things that I really was happy to get was this uh, chest of drawers. So it's very simple, very plain. And I think I'm going to end up um, upcycling it, you know, customizing it for my taste. I'm still deciding whether I'm gonna do that, but I love their um, their furniture because it's just so highly customizable and, and, it's, and it's real wood, at least the one that I got was real wood. I ended up also getting my bed from Ikea, my bed frame and the mattress. Um, and I actually did a blog post on my blog, www.thisbehavinggal, on the mattress that I got from there. Um, but I got like this steel frame. Uh, sorry, there's a helicopter going by my building. Um, it's, it's like a, it's not iron, but it looks, it has like that iron look frame. Um, bed which I love so much. It's so sturdy. It just holds up to I'm not that I'm not heavy But it holds up to my weight and um, It just feels very secure and the price again was really really good. So I'm very very pleased with my um, purchase of the uh, for, I'm really pleased that I purchased that bed from Ikea So I got the frame I got the mattress and I got my chest of drawers from there um, I have to get several other items as well, like a console. I was deciding whether or not I wanted to hang my TV on the wall as a, as a means of saving space, but I really don't want to damage um, the walls too much here. I, I just, I don't, I don't like when people do that. So I might just get a console. So I'm still shopping for, for the unit um, to put my TV on. Um, another place that I visited a lot was Marshall's, um, another sister property of uh, Home Goods. And I got a lot of um, items from there for the bedroom, for the bathroom, and for the living room area. It's very important for me to ensure that my place reflects my personal style. Um, I love plants, I love light, I love creative spaces, so I love color. Um, and I, I always wanted my place to have a lot of energy and just have the right vibe. So when I'm setting out to these stores, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something that's gonna give me like the proper vibe. Another thing that I wanted to say is that while watching YouTube, um, I see people buying like the same items over and over again. Like obviously the um, Studio McGee is really, really popular at Target and I, and I love their stuff too. 
and um, Magnolia um, at Target is also really, 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 really um, popular. I love their um, decorative ladders and that's something that's on my list um, to complete my space because um, I love blankets because I'm always cold. Um, but I did not want, again, I said this in the intro, I did not want to choose the same pieces that people buy a lot in droves. Um, Obviously, if I love something, I'm going to get it. I don't care if a million people want it. But but I find that a lot of people just buy things because they feel like this is what's popping or this is what's popular or this is what all the YouTubers are doing. But to me, then everybody's place starts to look the same. And I don't like that. You know, for me, it's okay to draw inspiration from other people's houses or magazines or Pinterest or Instagram, all these things. I mean, th th I did the same thing. But... I would say try not to copy everything style for style, piece for piece, because again, it just might not serve your space. You know, sometimes you go and get dark furniture and you don't have a, a, a well-lit uh, apartment and it's just going to look so dark. It's going to make the space even darker and feel even bulkier, you know, just cluttered or whatever. So you, you have to really think about the space that you have. So I think if I had any advice for anybody out there who is shopping for their place is to really just don't even think about YouTube or Instagram or any of that stuff. Think about what you want to come home to every single day. When you turn the key, what is it that you want to see? What is it that you want to feel? If your space is completely white or neutral and that's not your thing, then every time you come home, you're going to be like, this place is, is boring. It's so boring and dull. So don't do that. And then you can always mix styles. You can have some parts neutral and have some parts colorful or some parts very earth toned or bohemian. So, you know, I just wanted to say that because I, I feel like people get that pressure like to have the, oh, I have to have the cloud this and the cloud that, and I have to have all these accessories that look good, but collect dust and just don't serve the, perp the, the, the space really well. So that's just another, that's just a tip I, I wanted to say. And also in my search, um, uh, I also found myself going through the clearance uh, aisles a lot and I never used to do that like I used to be so uppity when it came to stuff like that like oh the clearance rack they're not gonna have like the best of the best and a lot of times they do it's just like they have to get rid of stuff home goods I bought so many rugs from there recently and it's like they were like rugs that were like 80 bucks they had on sale for like $29 they had on sale for like $39 and I got some rugs for that price point, which I thought was excellent. And, um, you know, I went through the aisle and I got some like utensil holders and one of them was originally like $16, but it was on sale for $3 because it had a chip on the back. It had a little chip. I think it was like $16 or something like that. No, no, it was probably like, like $12. It was like 12 bucks. And because it had a little chip on the back, they, they uh, discounted it to $3. So I bought it because I was like, first of all, Ain't nobody gonna be turning my jar around to say, oh, this has a chip. So it's like, why not spend $3? So, you know, just 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 definitely go through the aisles, the clearance racks, the clearance aisles, and see if there's something great there because you could be missing out on something awesome for a great price point. So don't be afraid of the clearance, um, the clearance aisles. Um, I also got a rug, a runner rug from Target. I happen to be a huge, huge fan of the uh, Opal House label. I think they have such beautiful bohemian style um, rugs and curtains and, and just magnificent man. And it is a bit pricier, I'll, I'll admit. So you can't get every single thing from there. At least I, I certainly couldn't, but I love that they have a variety of things that are just so colorful and bold and beautiful, but still kind of muted at the same time. And I know that sounds like it's all over the place, but that's just that's just the way I, I love it. I love their style. So I got a lot of those stuff at uh, Target as well. Having portraits and pictures of my family that's very important to me. And so while I was at IKEA. Um, I made sure to go downstairs and get, and this was in College Park, Maryland, um, or Camp Creek Park, or not College Park, Camp Creek maybe, um, I can't remember which one, but I got a lot of frames, a lot of picture frames, and um, I'm spending time and money going to Staples and printing off a lot of pictures, and like to Walgreens and printing, printing off pictures, because I wanna make sure that my space, when I walk into my house, that I'm seeing pictures of my family, my mother, um, you know, my nieces, whomever, like, you know, I want to make sure that they're represented in my home just to make me feel like my family is here because, you know, they ain't here, they ain't Nassau. So I will also, 
Really? Oh, I hope he ain't dead. Hold on, let me just let me just check, make sure the guy ain't dead. All right, he made it. He all right. So you know, I just want to make sure that um, all my paintings and pictures are inside the house. And again, I'm so sorry to keep saying this, but you'll see it next month um, because I didn't, I wasn't ready to do a reveal just yet. I'm kind of anal like that. Like I want to make sure that everything is set so that when I do the reveal, woo, that's it. That's a wrap and you guys get to see it. So be sure you need to be subscribing to my channel and making sure that you turn on the notification button so that you know when I drop my next video next month, last Wednesday in February. Um, so I also want to say like when shopping for your home, like how I was, I was surprised that I found a lot of things in stores that weren't like traditional um, home stores, you know, like the home goods, the home sense, all that sort of stuff. Like for example, um, I went into Altered State, which is one of my favorite stores, and I got some decor items for my home and they were having a sale and I thought it was a great little sale and they enhanced my house. So don't, don't, just, and I know people go to like five and below as well. You know, I, I wouldn't suggest getting everything from five and below, but they do have little things that can add to decor because I'm always trying to keep my costs at a minimum, 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 at a minimum. So I don't want to be shopping at like these expensive, I, I can't afford no West Elm and the rest of these things. And I know a lot of you guys can't either. A lot of you guys are still in college, freshmen and all that stuff. And you want to decorate your dorm or your first apartment. It's just not practical to go and spend that kind of money. So you can go to these different spots as long as you have a vision for your space and you are budget conscious and you are willing to um, go and search high and low like I did, you're gonna curate the perfect items for your apartment, for your space. So while shopping for my furniture, I spent a great deal of time texting my mother, texting my friends, asking them like their opinion about a lot of the stuff that I was buying. It was so funny because I remember when I was in Home Goods and I saw this round purple velvety, and I'm not that big a fan of velvet on furniture. Um, I like the look of it, but not the feel. And I, I sent this to my mother and my niece, Tatiana, and they were like, it looked like a funeral home casket or something like that. Like, I remember my mother was like, what the hell is this what you just sent to me? And I was like, it's different, you know, and it's colorful. She's like, girl, it looks like someone just about to pop you inside of a damn coffin and put you down six feet. And honestly, when I started looking at it, I don't know if she put that in my mind or what, but I started looking at it, I was like, yeah, it does look like a rounded coffin so I was like eh. plus it was like over a thousand dollars and I wasn't trying to spend no over a thousand dollars for no for no furniture so that was a hard pass so that's what I loved about the um the furniture at uh home sense the, the 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 sofa that I got it was the perfect size it was the perfect color perfect feel um it was originally for six hundred dollars um but I got some discounts on it and um I was very happy with the final cost and uh, it's wonderful in my space and I, again, I can't wait to show you guys next month um, If you guys have watched my video, you know that I have a junior one-bedroom apartment, which is um, Not a typical studio. It has like an alcove and I said this in the last video. So if you haven't seen that click up there um, uh, But it doesn't have a door uh, hence the junior one-bedroom and so one of the things that I really really was um, hell-bent on finding is a partition and I looked in Ikea and I did not like their partitions. I mean, I saw it online. I was like, oh, that could probably work. But I wanted something that looked more vintagey, more shabby chic, something that um, was interesting, visually interesting, and that was like solid wood because I, I needed to be heavy. I don't want anything like the minute I walk by, the breeze just knocks it down. And I was in Home Goods recently. And uh, sorry about that, guys. It's one construction, like I said. Um, I was in Home Goods recently and I was just about to leave. I was like, I don't see anything in here because sometimes it could be real hit or miss. And I was like, I don't see anything in here. And something told me to just, just go back through like this area. And I went and I was like, oh my God, oh my God. Like I found the perfect partition just sitting right there. Like, buy me girl, buy me. And I just was like, this is, I mean, I just was starting to trip out because it's like everything that I wanted. It was the perfect height. It was over six feet tall. It was wood, solid wood. It had these intricate um, carvings. Um, I think it was, it's made in India, which I loved. It didn't have any of those cancer warnings, those those proposition war prop warnings or whatever they always see in home goods. And um, it just felt right. It just I just immediately saw it in my space like that. 
And so that cost $160. And I was like, I didn't want to spend $160 for it, but I can tell you this much, I've seen um, uh, other partitions online and they're way more expensive, like in the $300, $400, $500 range. And the ones that are like maybe $200 and something, dollars, they look kind of flimsy. So I wasn't interested in that. So I, I was looking around, I saw a lady looking like she was interested in it. Girl, when you in home goods, let me tell you something, y'all don't know. Do not leave anything and say you're coming back for it. Do not say, oh, let me go and get the manager and tell them to pull. No, you have to, I don't care if you have a broken arm and a broken leg, you gotta grab up that stuff. What, what that is? Helicopter. You gotta grab up your items and carry it with you. So this lady was just kind of like waiting to see what I was gonna do, what I could do. Girl, I grabbed up my partition and I took it to the front and I was like, uh, sweetie, th this I wanna buy this. She's like, okay, I'll put a sign on it. So I said, yeah, just keep this right here. And then I saw the lady kept looking, kept looking. I said, you know what, let me just go buy this. Let me just go buy this because I don't even want her to even touch my things. I buy it, but I don't even want to touch my stuff. So I, I went and I purchased it and they were like, we're gonna get somebody to help you take it out to the car. And I was like, no, I can lift this myself, I got it. And I took it out to my car. So the lady came out and she's like, that is really beautiful. Like I was looking at it, I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. get to step in. And I put that right inside my car and I was gone, babes. Because when you see something inside home goods, you just gotta jump on it, you hear me? So I already have it in my space and it is beautiful, it's very functional and you'll see it next month. Anyway, kitties, thank you so much again for watching my channel. I appreciate you all so much. Um, and thank you so much for watching the empty apartment tour. I see that video is growing really well on my channel. And if you haven't seen it, please, please go and watch it. And what else I was going to say? Um, uh, somebody asked me, are you going to be doing any more videos? I have questions about the Bahamas and stuff. I'm like, yes, of course I'm going to be doing videos on the Bahamas in DC. But, you know, life events are happening as well. And this is interesting content, not only for me, but for people as well. Um, I know a lot of people love to watch uh, apartment reveals and that sort of stuff because I'm one of them. And so I think it's always good to freshen up my content with, with you know, um, offbeat things or, or things that just aren't typical of my channel. So for that person who was asking about Bahamas uh, content, it will definitely come back. And I'll probably start that up after my uh, next video on my tour from my apartment. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll have to pepper the, those, those, those types of things inside of my channel. So don't, don't think for one second like I've dropped that. I still, I'm your ultimate tour guide to the Bahamas in DC and I say it and I mean it. Um, but you know, don't be surprised if you see videos like this um, moving forward too, because it's important to show, you know, well-roundedness in my life. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. And again, don't forget to follow me on my blog, www.thisbahamiangal.com. I love you and I'll see you next month, last Wednesday in the month. Mwah. Happy Valentine's Day because y'all ain't gonna see me till after Valentine's Day. Love you. Bye.